Apparently, I need to practice looking at the camera instead of looking at myself when I'm saying hello. So, hi. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for popping in. If it's your first time, hit that like and subscribe button down there and I will really appreciate it. If you could, hit the notifications. That would also be fantastic. I hope you have a wonderful day. Let's get painting. Okay, so here we have it. Um, this is a round chunk of wood that I got at the dollar store. It is about three quarters of an inch thick. And as you can see, I've painted on it before. It was actually the bottom of one of my 3D pours. I've made sure it's level on my little stand, guys. And I'm going to, well, first I'm going to go over the colors that I'm going to use. And then I'm probably going to pause and I'll throw it to music and let you guys listen while I flood and pour paint. And anyway, so I'm still using the deco art paints I'm using today. The, oh, I'm not using that. Ooh, wrong one. <laughs> the African Violet. And the Tropical Blue. And the Peacock Blue. And then for the leaves, I'm going to use my custom teal that I've been using. And I'm going to use the Hunter Green. And then I also have my purple that I mixed up by blending the Copenhagen blue and the Christmas red. So those are the colors that I'm going to use. And I'm going to do a dip with a piece of plastic. I've got a piece of plastic here that I've cut to size. Um, and that should work. So yeah, let's get to painting. So I've covered it in white. And now I'm going to lay out my colors. I've let it sit for a couple minutes. Everything has smoothed out nicely. That is one nice thing I'm liking about the Floetrol, although it is more expensive, and I'm probably going to go back to the white glue after this. I'm going to see if I can find some way to make my glue level out like this, because this is a nice canvas to get started with. Anyway, let's get going with some colors. So I'll go, I guess, dark to light, kind of. And uh, I wish I had some squeezy bottles, but I do not. So I'm going to try dripping it. And hopefully I don't get, oh, look at that. That's coming out way too blobby. Ah, okay, that was a, <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> well, I guess that's plenty of that color. Anyway, let's kind of split it up a little bit, maybe. ha. <laughs> That was crazy the way that came out. It just came out in blobs here and there. And again, you can see I'm kind of trying to go a little bit in a flower pattern, whatever that means. One of the things I love best about this technique is that I can only draw like a child. I can't, I'm not, I'm not an artist by any means. And I certainly can't draw for beans. But with this, I don't really have to, right? I can, I can draw like a like a an amateur, and it still will end up looking beautiful. So I'm hoping that these blues and purples really, really give me some outstanding effects. I think I'll go with this darker blue next. Uh-oh, it's not running very good at all. Might be a little too thick. Come on. <laughs> Here's where I'll probably voice over it, or not voice over it, but play some music over it, because this gets boring. Or do I have a story to tell? Let's see, do I have a story to tell? It's Saturday, it's... It's, or Sunday, actually, so it's just a few days before Christmas. Um, we don't 
we don't do much for Christmas. You know, we don't have kids and and we don't have friends with kids and we don't go out a lot. We are, we're kind of homebodies. Um, so we are going to a nice get together Christmas Eve with some friends and that'll be nice. And then Christmas Day we'll open our presents and and I can't wait to see what Honey got me. I, I asked for a bunch of different painting supplies. So you may see me on here Christmas Day going crazy with the new paints and stuff. So that would be fun. Uh, I also asked him for some more doll making tools, which um, could be cool because I want to get back into making the doll furniture. Although, you know, there's that whole made for kids video thing now, right? Like, I don't know. Like, my <laughs> I guess it's kind of silly for me to even consider that because my channel is so far away from monetization that it's not even funny. Um, <laughs> it is funny, actually. It's laughable. But it's okay, right? Because that's not why I'm doing this. I'm I'm doing it partly because, like I said once before, that I like to talk about my crafts and I don't really have anyone around that I can talk to. So I can talk to you. Um, whether you want to listen or not, that's entirely up to you. You can certainly fast forward these videos, right? Um, and I quite often do. Sometimes I have these rambling conversations with you and then I cut them out and fast forward them. So we'll see whether this makes it in or not. It'll be interesting to see. <laughs> Depends on how I'm feeling when I'm editing. Sometimes I bore myself and I certainly don't want to bore you because that is not good. So anyway, I can't tell you what I got for honey, but he is going to be super happy, I think, with his present. I went a little overboard, and I'll be paying for it for a couple of months, but but it'll be worth it to see how happy he is. Maybe I'll try and get some video of him. Well, if this is enough color, I think I need to... I know I like lots of white, right? So I don't want to put too much color in. But I want to have enough. Right. Okay. I think that's my four colors. I hope that's enough. I don't know. You can always paint over it, right? So let's go in with some leaves. I don't really know how to draw leaves, but this is what I saw other people kind of doing is making these kind of Y shapes. So that is what I'll do. <laughs> I learn how to do a lot of things by watching YouTube videos. And so if you're like me, um, oh no, I didn't mean to get that green in with the blue, but we'll see what happens there. Green and blue can mix nicely together. Um, anyway, where was I going here? I don't even remember. <laughs> Getting that old, old memory age. Old age memory. I get distracted easily. Anyway. So I know I was talking about Christmas and how we don't um, we don't do a lot around here for Christmas. So I'll probably be in here pouring paint. I did mention maybe that I got I'm giving myself some time off this week. So it's nice when you're your own boss, but I'm I'm I make myself work all the time or a lot anyway. I mean, my job is kind of it's it's it doesn't require. Um, uh, well, <laughs> it doesn't require that I am in an office 24-7, right? Like, that's not it. But I do social media for a couple of different companies, and so I kind of have to monitor that, right? I can't just... I, I have to occasionally pop in and, and see if anybody is commenting or or see if anything has been said that I need to... Or questions that have been asked, things that I need to respond to, so... I always have to have to do that and keep in the back of my mind. It's nice though, there's tools out there that I can pre-schedule stuff. And so 
as long as I can pop in and make sure that the stuff is going out on time and that everything that I've scheduled actually publishes, then I'm usually pretty good to go. So I'm giving myself a few days off over the holidays and I'm going to force myself to not work. <laughs> Other than, like I said, just to pop in and monitor things. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, a little bit of this. This is this acrylic paint. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Acrylic. Um, and I have a little bit of this neon yellow left and I'm using it for the in very inside of my flowers. And okay, I guess I guess it is what it is, right? And we're going to there's my piece of plastic. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. So I just want to pat it because I want to make sure that the plastic touches all of the paint. And you can see, you probably can't see it, but if you're doing this, you'll see that there, you can see the little air pockets. And those are what you want to get out. You don't want little air pockets because then your design won't be... Well, if it doesn't touch, right, it doesn't, it doesn't blur it together. Like it's, if you haven't seen one of these before, it's really interesting when you pull out. Like I was quite shocked that, that you could get, that you could just make some random pattern design on here and it can just look messy and, and, and unput together. And then when you pull this off, it just tends to, Tends to mix it together in a way that just makes it look, well, usually quite phenomenal. <laughs> I say usually because with my art, you never know what's going to happen. I seem to have pretty good luck with making them turn out, but but they don't always. Um, hence the pouring over on many things, right? Like I pour over a lot of stuff. And even, you know, like sometimes it's not horrible. Like this one here, it wasn't horrible, horrible. I just, it wasn't spectacular, right? And I want, I want when people look at it and like, let's say this was a trivet for your house. If someone were to look at this, I would want them to say, wow, that is super cool. And I would love to have one for my house, right? I don't want somebody to say, oh, that's kind of interesting or that's kind of, tacky or <laughs> or what the heck is that right like uh, I don't know and a lot of people I guess don't have the same taste that I do and so if I find it beautiful that doesn't mean that someone else necessarily is going to find it beautiful but anyway I think that's probably pretty well adhered so let's give it a shot So we'll pull up these two corners. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait until you see these colors. Oh, I just love this. Oh my goodness. Can you see those? Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Getting some cells here in my greens because of that uh, that homemade turquoise that I have. That um, oh, that is just stunning. Let's torch it and get rid of some of these bubbles. We're getting some big ones here. Now that's going to make more cells pop out, of course. So I don't want to torch too much because I don't. A huge fan of tons of cells, but I don't want the bubbles either because I've ran into the problem with having bubbles in the past and then in the morning when I come out and it's dried, I have all these white specks in my paintings and I'm told it's because I don't pop my bubbles. It's getting warm, so I'll let it rest for a minute. Now, should I stretch it just a touch, do you think? Just so that these touch the edges, I think? Like this one here is starting to go over a bit. 
I think, I think I will. I'll do it slowly. Oh, I think I want to go this way first because it's the closest. Oh, can you, can you see how it's moving in the middle? But it's not moving at the edge very well. What's up with that? But that's okay, it's almost there. And again, here, I think I need to flood some white in here so that I can get these colors to move down a little bit. See if we can't get that to move now. Again, in the center it's moving, right? But it's not moving much on the edges. And I don't want to pull it too far out of the center there. Oh, I gotta say, these colors are just stunning. into the center now. Hmm. It's not running off the edges, but is that a problem? I don't know. I've got a few spots here that are kind of lacking paint. This is almost empty. I'll be the last of my last of my white glue and paint. Although I do have more white glue now. A lot of bubbles showing up on the edges here. Oh my gosh, that's just stunning. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to paint over this. <laughs> la la la. All right, I'll try to smooth out this on the edges a bit. And maybe if my colors don't quite run off, that's even better. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. And you can see I have a few more bubbles to pop, but look at how beautiful that turned out. You can see there's some cells coming up here and there. Some wispiness. A few more cells popping up here and there. Not a lot, and, and not very many in the in the center part. But there's nothing wrong with that. Look at that. Wouldn't that make a beautiful trivet for your house? Oh my gosh. I might not be able to part with it. <laughs> Love it. So here it is all dry. And you can see down here in the corner, I've got some cracking, I guess, for lack of a better word. Not sure what is causing that everywhere else. Uh, well, you know, there's some ruts there. Some ruts there. I wonder if those are the spots I used the glue and water instead of the Floetrol. 
It's a little disappointing, but that might be it. I think, though, that when I re I'll resin this one, and I think that when I resin it, I can, I can smooth those out, and they'll be fine. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye now. Oh, and if you haven't, you should subscribe.